Hello, this is Rob here from robcubbon.com and I want to show you how to create a more exciting image-based under construction page here. I've just set up the under construction plugin from WordPress and I've just used their standard screen saying that the website is coming soon. Here, however, I have an image that the client wants. She wants something with her logo on it, with the colors she's going to be using for her brand and a more branded message saying that the website is under construction and please can people come back soon so you can put any sort of HTML in there it's not going to be for too long only two weeks or so but it is a nice thing that clients would like you to do and I'm just showing you this here because it is actually mobile responsive and it will respond to the device that is viewing the page so I'll just show you the HTML that I did to create that page. Here it is. It's the most simple HTML in the world. It's a web page that has a title and a body style and then a div which contains an image that is centered in the page and that's all it is basically and I can leave this code along with this video. But there is the HTML we've just been looking at and next to it is the images folder which includes the actual image that we see on that page. So if we go back to the HTML, you'll see that the image source path goes to that images folder and specifies the name of the image. So we're going to have to put that onto the site in order to make this show up in our special under construction page. So you'll remember the FTP program from earlier. This is what we use to upload the WordPress files if you are installing WordPress manually. And remember, everything on your site goes into the public underscore HTML folder on this particular server. So we double click in that and there are all our WordPress files. So I'm going to put the folder with the under construction images in there on the root of the Neuronash website. So I've logged back into the back end now. So now if I refresh that page, it's going to show us the WordPress default page. So we'll go back into the settings under construction and we have the under construction page on at the moment. We've left the status code as is and on the display options here we can use these to improve the under construction page. So we can click this one for instance and then we can type in here a title, a header and a body. And so, you know, that doesn't give you an image, but it will give you a more customized look and feel to the under construction page. So I'll just quickly show you how that works. So I'll go under construction here. Hello is my title and the header and the body text is come back soon. So we'll save changes and log out and now we refresh and there's the heading, there's the body text and the title of the page, you can't see it in Firefox, you have to go to the window and there it is under construction. So I've logged back in because that's not what we want to do. We want to go back to the under construction page under settings in WordPress and we want to display a custom page by using our own HTML. So all we have to do is paste in the HTML there and then we can show images, we can have links to an email address, all sorts of stuff. We could even collect email addresses. So you can put anything you want in here as long as it's HTML. There's the HTML, we'll paste it in, and remember, this will only work because we have put the images folder and the image onto the root of the server. So that HTML will now display the image on our under construction page. So we'll save changes and log out again. And now we'll refresh again. And there is our custom under construction page. So we can develop the website with our WordPress logins. We can give a login to the client and the client can see how the site is progressing through its development and we can see the site but the general public who aren't logged in who just arrive on the site will see this custom under construction page. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. It's Rob from robcarbon.com. Bye.